Hey guys, Murph with another quick video I'm doing on the uh, Gigabyte GeForce GTX 1070 G1 Gaming. I bought this card about a month ago because I wanted to upgrade uh, my resolution that I'm playing at from 1080p to either 1440p or maybe some light 4K gaming if it's possible. <clears throat> I just built a PC a couple months ago and I had a 1060 and I wanted to move to this card. Um, basically what happened is, I'm just showing a picture of it. Yeah. This is going to be a cheesy video, short and sweet, hopefully. Um, I got the card about a month ago, and uh, it, it just doesn't overclock very good. Um, the memory would checkerboard anything above 450 megahertz over stock, and I must have lost a silicon lottery because the core struggles to do plus 75, and... Uh, it's just not a great overclocker. Um, the core-wise, it's just a silicon lottery. I lost out on it. It is what it is. Supposedly, Gigabyte bends their uh, GPUs. I, I don't know. They say they bend them for the G1. It doesn't look like it. Um, the memory, though, I looked it up. It's the Micron memory. Um, I could do a plus 450 on the memory, and uh, it would work okay. But anything above that, it would checkerboard, freeze the screen, whatever. At stock speeds, the card would even sometimes freeze up and act funny, especially in Heaven Benchmark. Um, so I did a little research, Googled it. If you Google this card, uh, or your card specifically, and Google, like I Googled Gigabyte G1 Gaming 1070 BIOS. It brings up their website. Under software, you can choose the BIOS. So you download a zip file. You unzip it, and then in the unzip file, there's an application. You click it. It says, do you want to run this? It's going to upgrade your vBIOS on your card. You click yes, and it does it all itself. Make sure your computer is not going to power off, your Windows updates are done, and all that stuff, because if your computer locks up doing the BIOS on this card, you can have a real issue. Um, that being said, after I did the BIOS update, uh, the card easily goes a lot higher on the memory. Uh, I have a running plus 500 now and uh, with no problems and even plus 525 I started getting some artifacts but it didn't checkerboard and at stock it worked okay for sure at stock settings. Um, I'm going to do some more testing but I just wanted to put this out there because the update definitely did do something. Um, that Micron memory it's just trash. I mean if, you, if you're going to buy a card try and get one with Samsung memory. I had a 1060 with Samsung memory. It overclocked 550 megahertz easy with no issues. Um, you know, when it comes to the core, it's just a silicon lottery. Unfortunately, I lost out on this card. It it struggles to do 2,000 megahertz. Um, you know, they're only guaranteeing you what they advertise on these cards. So if, you know, whatever the boost clock is that they're offering, that's what they're basically guaranteeing you. So that being said, guys, just a short, quick video. Um, if you have a different brand card, I suggest looking it up and seeing what you can find out about the BIOS if you already have the card. I don't know if every company is doing an updated vBIOS. And um, if you're gonna buy a card, try and find out if it has Samsung memory. There's, if it's brand new, there's really no way to know until you take it out of the box, basically put it in and download GPU-Z. Um, if it's used, I'm sure you can ask somebody. But this was just Murph with a quick video on the G1 Gaming, and I hope you guys get your problems solved and get them overclocks going because it's free performance on the table, and to not use it is just a waste, I believe. I'll see you guys in the next one.